Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're really getting into the weeds of some recent technical happenings, let's say, inside the Pi Network ecosystem. Yeah, we've been looking through some interesting source material. There's a YouTube transcript. It talks about updates from someone called Dimas Nui and uh, specifically points to work by a developer, Kasasi. Right, and there are links to actual developer links, code snippets, yeah. testing pages, so quite technical stuff. Exactly, and our goal here really is to try and understand the, uh, the main technical updates these sources are describing. We really want to zero in on this concept they keep mentioning called dual value. Okay, and the tech behind it. And the tech behind it, yeah. The processes, the technologies that the sources say are being tested to support it. It's, you know, a peek behind the curtain at some pretty significant testing. All right, so let's start there then. This dual value idea, yeah. it seems central. What, uh, what does the source material suggest it actually is for Pi Network? Well, the way it's presented, this dual value seems to be a core objective in this testing phase. The source states it involves supporting specifically two things. Okay. One is advantages related to something called Gizi, and the other is the, quote, platform value of Pi. Hmm. Gizi advantages and platform value. That phrasing is interesting. Does the source give any hints why they might need that kind of separation? It doesn't explicitly define Kizi, which, yeah, makes it a bit opaque. But putting it next to advantages makes you think it relates to specific benefits or maybe utilities inside the Pi ecosystem. Like for certain users or activities? Perhaps, yeah, maybe for verified users or tied to certain actions. And pairing that with platform value, well, it could mean they're drawing a line between that internal utility and, say, a potential external exchange value, or maybe just the value tied to the network's basic function. So the implication is maybe not all Pi is created equal in terms of what it can do later on. That seems to be what's hinted at, yes. Yeah. A potential difference in utility or benefits down the line. Okay, intriguing. So if that's the concept, how are they technically planning to support it? The source has mentioned specific infrastructure, right? They did. Uh, the first big piece mentioned is integration with Stellar Core wallets. Stellar Core, okay. The material points out that transactions involving this dual value concept will uh, specifically be supported through the Stellar Core layer. And is Stellar Core itself being adapted for this? Is that what this source says? That's exactly what it highlights. It mentions Stellar Core is getting new updates, and crucially, they are testing a specific dual currency feature for Pi Network. Dual currency. Interesting terminology. Yeah, and the stated reason for this specific testing is to ensure uh, valid user data input, making sure the data going into these Pi transactions is correct. And the developer links confirm this. The link provided apparently shows testing environments. You can see things related to PyDuel on Stellar wallets, and it credits that developer, Kasasi, with recent work on it. Okay, Stellar integration is one part. But what really caught my eye was the mention of AI services also playing a role. That feels like another major layer. It does. The source is quite clear that this dual value system isn't just stellar. It will also be supported by AI services. And it gets specific. Very specific. It names two technologies. LSTM, that's Long Short Term Memory Neural Network Technology, and Course, which is cross-origin resource sharing. Right. Course sounds familiar from web development. Exactly. And again, the material points to a developer link for these AI services and again mentions Kasasi working in this area. So based on the source, can you break down what these AI tools are actually doing here? What's their job in this dual value setup? Okay. So LSTM, according to the source, is being used to process different kinds of data. It mentions text, audio, and time data. And it says it does this with precise detail. For what purpose? The stated goal is to ensure transaction accuracy at all times. Now, LSTM is good with sequences, with time-dependent data. So you could speculate it's maybe verifying the order of operations or the timing or the consistency of data linked to a transaction, things vital for preventing mistakes or, you know, fraud. Makes sense. Oh, I, and cores. You said it's usually a web security thing. How does that fit with dual value transactions? Right. Normally, cores manages how, say, a script on one website can request resources from a server on a completely different website. Here, the source describes it as a security technology, allowing a server, presumably a Pi server, to control resources across all domains involved. All domains. That's the emphasis. It says all domains using the dual value system will use cores and be controlled by it. So it sounds like a way to centrally manage permissions and interactions for this specific dual value feature, making sure only the right parts of the ecosystem can talk to each other in the right way. 
kind of enforcing the rules of this new system. Okay, so we've got this picture emerging, a dual value concept underpinned by tailored Stellar Core wallet integration for the transactions themselves, and then AI, LSTM, ensuring accuracy, cores managing access and security across different domains. Where does all this stand right now? Is it live? Uh, no. According to the source, very clearly, all these new programming updates, the dual value logic, the Stellar bits, the AI components, they are currently in the testing phase. Just testing. Just testing. And specifically on the test network, not the main live network. And is there a timeline mentioned for activation? When does it go live? The material gives a condition, not a date. It says these features are planned for activation on the main network later on, but it ties activation specifically to the launch of something called sparse node and the main node. Sparse node and node. Any more detail on what those are? The source doesn't really define them fully, but, you know, in general network terms, nodes are the computers running the system. Different types might do different things, like validating transactions or storing data. So it sounds like the launch of these specific node types is a necessary step before they can roll out this complex dual value system, a prerequisite. Yeah. Okay. Stepping back for a second, the source also touches on the bigger picture around AI, doesn't it? It's not just a tool for this one feature. That's right. It frames it more strategically. It emphasizes AI's importance overall. Uh, the material includes a detail that Nicholas, the founder, has apparently praised and really advocated for using AI in all projects. All projects. Yeah, stating it's basically become a necessity now. And it notes this viewpoint was shared publicly uh, at the Consensus 2025 conference in Toronto. Ah, okay. Yeah. So that gives context. The AI integration for dual value isn't just some random technical choice. It fits into a wider strategic push. Exactly. It suggests it's part of the project's core vision moving forward. Now, this next part from the source is really fascinating because it seems to connect everything back to the individual user and their actions. It talks about a digital footprint. Yes, this is a really key takeaway, I think. The source describes a specific sequence of actions for users. What actions? It says when a user does three things. One, creates their Pi wallet. Two, signs the transfer agreement. And three, successfully completes their KYC identity verification. Okay, the standard onboarding steps, basically. Right. When those are done, the source says their mind Pi creates something it calls a highly exclusive digital footprint. Highly exclusive digital footprint. Why is that footprint important? What does it do? Well, this is the crucial part. The source states that this specific Pi, the Pi that you originally mined, and that is now linked to your verified identity through KYC. And those steps, that is the pie that will enjoy future Geezy benefits. Ah, uh -huh. so it connects back to that Geezy term from the dual value definition. Exactly. It directly links completing the verification process for your mind pie to accessing these specific, though still undefined, Geezy benefits. Which strongly implies uh, what? That pie may be bought later or held by someone who hasn't done KYC might not get those same benefits. That's the clear implication from the source material, yes. It seems to draw a distinct line. The Pi tied to your verified mining-based digital footprint is special in this context, potentially different from other Pi in the ecosystem regarding these future GZ advantages. Okay, quite a lot to digest there. Let's try and pull this together for you, the listener. We've walked through some pretty dense technical details based on this source material. Yeah, we've talked about this core concept of dual value being tested. Supported by Stellar Core wallets, which are themselves undergoing specific dual currency testing tailored for Pi. Right. And then layered on top or alongside, you have AI technologies, uh, LSTM aiming for transaction accuracy using complex data processing. And Core for managing security and interactions across different domains for this specific system. And all of this, importantly, is currently just in testing on the testnet. Exactly. So one thing to consider is what might these technical choices actually mean down the road? Using Stellar this way, applying these specific AI methods, how could that impact the network's security, its accuracy, its overall functionality, if or when these features make it to the main network? Mm. Good question. How might those layers actually work together in practice? We don't know yet, but it's worth thinking about the design choices. And then there's the other big piece this digital footprint concept. You should really think about the implication here. The source suggests that the steps you take. Right, specifically mining your pie, creating the wallet, signing agreements, and crucially, completing KYC verification. That these actions might directly determine the future potential or the specific benefits tied to your pie. 
it suggests your verified MindPy could be distinct. It really foregrounds the link between verified identity and the potential utility of the asset you mined. It raises that question. Is the future value proposition here just about how much pie you have? Or is there this critical added dimension where the value or at least certain benefits depend on the origin of the pie and its direct link to your verified identity? So maybe a final thought to leave you with based on this material. Consider the longer term picture. If this source is accurate about the direction, what does it mean to have a digital asset where future utility, these GZ benefits, isn't just about quantity? But it's explicitly tied to how and whether your specific coins are linked to your verified identity through that unique digital footprint created by your actions like mining and KYC. What does that kind of design suggest about the nature of value, participation, and maybe even trust that this particular project might be aiming for? Something to definitely mull over.